This video is brought to you by Stormmaster. Today in review, we got the PopDog K2 smartphone. What's going on everyone? It's your boy Kevin back again. Today we got another budget phone that we're going to review. This one is like a budget budget phone guys. The cost of this phone is only around $80. And the name of this phone is PopTel K2. What we're going to do today guys, we're going to be doing the unboxing of this phone. And they call this phone the budget budget gaming phone. So pretty much you can play games in this phone with no lag and no problem. That's what they say. Before we start this video guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you press the bell at the bottom so if I make a new video, you get a reminder there. So let's start this video guys. That's how the box looks like. In the back it says, it's got a fingerprint scanner, Android 10, dual SIM, 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of ROM. For battery, you got 4,000 milliamp, and this phone it is GSM, it's 4G LTD, and it is unlocked. It is global version, multi language, and it is 6.52 inch full HD display, 5 MP front camera, and 8 MP back camera, and 2 MP. And you got quad core 1.3 gigahertz. Wow, all this for $80. You guys know when you go like honestly buy those cheap phones from Wish website or Amazon or other websites, those no name brands, and you're paying like what $90 by the time you get it shipping, it comes to your hand, it costs you around like $150. As soon as you open it, you turn the phone on, you just regret it. You're just like, why did I spend all that money when you can only spend $80 and get this? Like, do I even have to say anything else, guys? Anyways, let's open it. This, put this away, throw that out, throw that out, let's see what's in here, you get cables guys, oh they give you headphones too, pretty nice ones too, they're pretty strong, and actually you can probably do calls with it too, it's got a button here too, so you can probably do calls with it too, and they give you a euro plug, and then you get manual book in English, nothing else in there guys, throw that out, throw that out, get into the phone, so far, I like the color. Look at that color, guys. It's like a light green and it goes to navy green or a dark green, whatever you call it. And remember, guys, this phone is on the heavier side. You got 4,000 million batteries. Probably those old batteries, not like those lithium batteries, because lithium batteries, they're pretty small. They compact a lot of power in them. It's probably the old batteries. The phone feels really good in my hand. It's got a flat color, but it's like a sandpapery. It's like, a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a shark skin. So obviously you're not going to get no fingerprints on it and that's your fingerprint scanner right there no face unlock and you got a lot of curve in the back so if you're sitting there playing games it feels really good the back of the phone and the camera does not bother you at all then you got your uh, power button here on and off right there and you got a headphone jack guys boom you gotta love that and you get a single speaker and it says right there pop tail and you got a big display look at that display guys big display to get into the phone, you have to pull the whole back. And the whole phone is made of plastic. That's your battery, that's your SIM card, SIM 1, SIM 2, and you got your SD card. Honestly, I like really the design on it. And for $80, come on, you cannot go wrong. HD display, come on. There's gotta be something wrong with this phone for that price, all that specs. Pretty much, I don't really know what the specs are on this phone. Let me see. Actually, they, they say here what it is. Okay. For a hardware, you got MT6739, pretty good budget phone. For processor speed, you got quad core up to 1.3 gigahertz. Type is 4G smartphone and is running on Android 10. And it says global version unlocked to all carriers. And you can use it pretty much anywhere in the world. For display, you got 6.52 inch water drop. And for memory, it says here 2 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte. And front camera, you got 5 MP. And for the back camera, you got 8 MP plus 2 MP. And battery, 4,000 milliamp. And you got OTG. Honestly, if you guys think about it, for $80, that's a lot of specs. Okay, so as soon as you open this phone, you set it up, the phone comes with full Google support. Like, I mean, every Google app there is. So like you get your Google Chrome, you get your YouTube, Gmail, Map, Play, Movies, uh, Duo, Gallery, Y Music. Let's see what else does it have? Go up. And these are the rest of the Google apps that come in this phone. Let's try the Google Assistant. Open camera. I want to show you guys. There is no lag. Look how quick this thing is. For it 
budget budget phone guys like look at this feels like you're running like 90 hertz refresh rate that's how quick and smooth this thing is and it opens apps really fast you want to go to something boom open it like right away everything like responds really fast in this phone let me show you guys some of the settings in this phone so pretty much you get your standard settings like you get your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, do not disturb, flashlight, auto rotate, battery saver, mobile data, screen casting. And the screen casting actually does work really good in this phone. I already casted it to my Samsung TV that I have. Boom, right away cast it. Left and right, nothing. Let's go to main setting, guys. And remember, this phone is dual SIM, guys. And it is global version. It is unlocked to all carriers. Then you got your internet networks. You got connections and device. Let's go here. So you got your casting, printing, Bluetooth, and that's it for that. Then you got apps and notifications. You got your battery, you got display. This phone, the display on it actually does get really bright, guys. Like that's the brightest it gets right there. You got your nightlight, you got adaptive brightness, you got your wallpapers. Let's try that. You got your uh, uh, gallery go and their own wallpapers that come standard in this phone. I don't think there's much in here. Yeah, there's not much in here. Go to advance for advance you got your screen timeout auto rotate and front size display size that's pretty much for that and you got your sounds for sounds you got your ringtones let's see what kind of ringtones this phone has you got security so that's where you can set up your fingerprint unlock and you got accounts you got digits, Google, and system. Let's go to languages. Let's go here. Let's go to language, add language. So if you guys can see, it's got a lot of language. That's what it's global version. So what does that mean? That means every language there is. So I can go on and on on this. This store, I'm right there. So yeah, pretty much you got the whole world in here, guys. And you got about phone. About phone, like pretty much shows you SIM 1, SIM 2, this IMEI number, the model number, and it's running on Android 10. And that's it for that. I think now we should go watch a, a video on this phone so we can see the resolution this phone can play and how good the display is on it and how loud the speakers get. You guys know the way I do my videos on these cheap phones. We're going to see what kind of resolution this phone can play videos on. The video in the background, I made it in 1080p 60. Let's go here. Let's see what's max. You can play. Yes, you can. You can play 1080p 60, guys. They call it the gaming phone. Let's go um, uh, play a game on it, see how the phone handles gaming. And I'm telling you guys, one of my friends actually has one of these phones, the same one right here, and he plays PUBG on it. And he says he has no problem with it, absolutely. But now let's go do a gaming test ourselves so we can see how this phone handles everything. Honestly, I don't think this phone has that many features for camera, but I think we should go look at the camera setup in this phone. 
and go through through the, some of the settings so you guys can see better how the settings on the camera on this phone is then i'm actually going to take some pictures and some videos for you guys so you guys can see the videos and pictures this phone takes okay guys this is it for camera so you get picture and video for video let's go settings let's see what does it have oh doesn't have much it's got white balance anti flicker video quality oh f hd you can record it wow you can record in 19 20 10 80 12 80 7 20 and these ones how many zoom you get four times zoom yes that's it let's go to settings see so yeah, for settings same thing guys so you got your anti flicker you got io iso you got selfie timer you got storage path picture size and screen mode so that's pretty much it Opinion, opinion about this $80 phone. Would I buy this $80 phone? hundred percent. Like, how can you go wrong? $80 phone, watch videos on it with no problem. Good display. The only bad thing about this phone is, is just the sound. You can hardly even hear it. But you know what? That's why they give you the headphones. Plug it in. Or uh, plug a Bluetooth speaker to it. Gaming, you have no problem. And you get 4,000 milliamp battery. Obviously, the battery is going to last you for a long time. The camera, the pictures, they're not the greatest. But you know what? stop and you cannot accept too much about this phone 80 dollars guys what can you go wrong with this you guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this phone and i'm going to catch you guys on my next video so see you guys soon